I think the first time I got true validation that I was doing something right, there was three of us coming back from a show, and I was in the front seat of the Uber with the aux cable, and I was playing a bunch of new disco stuff, and then popped in a track that I had made, and I remember my friend just being completely in love with the song, and being like, who is this? This is crazy, like, what, what is this song? Like, life-changing. And when I told him it was me, he just could not believe it at all. And then a couple days later, I like went onto SoundCloud and saw he had listened to it like 50 times. He was really into this track. But that was the first time where I thought my music was, you know, at the level of quality where people might actually listen to it. My parents put me onto piano really early, like five years old. And then I switched to guitar in middle school and was a little more into that, but still sort of thought practicing as a chore in a way. I didn't really connect with music from a creator level as much as I did just from a listening level. So I was always the person making mixtapes for my friends. And when someone came with a new artist that they like, if I had heard of them, I would spit back 30 tracks that they should listen to. And that was sort of my thing. I want to say senior year of high school was around the time that Girl Talk blew up with mashups and everything. That was the first time where I heard something and thought, oh, I could make this, but it's not an instrument. I could like actually go into my computer and combine things, and then I could make my own as well. There's a lot of stuff coming up, a bunch of remixes for artists that I like or labels that I like. I can't remember who told me, but an artist that I met at some show, he, his one piece of advice was only sign with labels that will change your career, and it stuck with me a little bit. So every time I, I think about where could this track go, I'm always shooting for like big labels that I really love or labels that I know can do justice to the work. But I've had this war chest of like 30 or 40 songs that I've been sitting on for a while. Just thinking, okay, I think these songs are great. Uh, they really work well in a club setting, so I'm just gonna not do anything with them until I'm at a level where I can get the ears of these labels that I want to hear it. So that's finally starting to happen where I am getting signed to the labels that I wanted to sign to and I think I have like 15 lined up, so I'm on track. My first like Enamor show was at Flash. I had brought like 75 of my friends because there's all these people that had been asking like when's the next show so I, I told them way in advance, made sure everyone would come. That was like such a big night for me and I I had like people cheering and everyone was freaking out and when I played my own songs, people I didn't know were having a good time with it so I kind of got that validation that people are connecting with it. So then I quickly got the offer to do Eric Prid's direct support and that immediately went from, okay, you're playing a couple gigs, you brought a lot of your friends, it was a lot of fun, to you're about to play for three, four, five thousand people. Most of them have no idea who you, who you are, like what do you got? I think every time I sit down to make a song, I, I want it to not only move people from a dancing perspective, but also emotionally, or at least like just do something interesting where it, it kind of changes people's view of a genre or of a, of a sound or an idea. And I am trying to be as innovative as I can while also appealing to a wide audience. I want the person who's really knowledgeable about dance music to love my music, but also be able to bring all of their friends that aren't necessarily into it to my shows and have a good time. And to the people that are maybe into the more mainstream stuff, I want to be able to rope them in and then introduce them to a whole new side of dance music that, you know, a lot of other DJs are doing but might not be able to grab their attention. And I'm kind of trying to bridge the gap a little bit just because I know I made that leap. I want to just help other people make that leap as well.